Hey guys, welcome back. You're listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number 306, number 306, numero 306. Welcome back, amigos y amigas. Welcome back. This is your host, Milena, speaking. You're tuning in to the English Made Simple show. You can learn more about the EMS show and what it is all about when you visit EnglishMadeSimple.net. If you want to listen to the podcast straight from the website, simply type in EnglishMadeSimple.net slash podcast. Type that into your browser and then start listening. And don't forget to check out all my past episodes and amazing resources to help you speed up your English learning. Alrighty, guys, welcome. Today, we are diving into some essential workplace phrases to help you communicate effectively with your colleagues. I'm sure that most of you are driving to work. So if you're driving to work right now, or if you're on your way to work, you might want to remember some of these phrases that I'm going to teach you today. So I'll keep it simple and fun, amigos. Uh, Just before we begin, in the past few weeks, I've been spending a lot of time on YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to restart my channel. I've kind of neglected it for a bit and I'm trying something new this time. I wanted to get back onto YouTube. All of the repeat after me phrases that you've um, you probably heard throughout uh, these years um, here on the podcast in this show... This will also be available on YouTube. So search for the English Made Simple podcast on YouTube and then tune into the playlist called Short and Sweet. Short and Sweet. This is where I'm going to be sharing those phrases. You'll be able to hear the phrases uh, in my accent, but also in the British and the American accent as well. My accent is unique, as you know. Um, It doesn't sound typical like something you would hear on TV. So let's call it international accent. I speak uh, something that I like to call international English. Alrighty, I hope I'm not confusing you today. Uh, Let me walk you through the phrases I've just recently published on YouTube. So here's your chance to hear those phrases here on this podcast. And then you can practice these phrases when you repeat them. Um, You have a chance to repeat them after me. Okay, so number one, the phrase number one is keep an eye on something. This phrase means to watch or monitor something carefully. So imagine you're working on a project and you want to make sure that it goes well. You can say, let's keep an eye on the progress. It means let's watch and make sure everything is going okay. Cool bananas? Now it's your turn. Repeat the following phrase after me. Let's keep an eye on the progress. Let's keep an eye on the progress. Alrighty. The phrase number two is to be on the same page. To be on the same page. To be on the same page means to be in agreement. This phrase indicates that everyone involved in a conversation or project has a mutual understanding and agreement about a certain topic or plan. So let me give you an example. During a team meeting uh, about a new marketing campaign, let's say, a team member might say, I think we're all on the same page regarding the target audience and messaging for this campaign. So this was just an example. I think we're all on the same page regarding the target audience and the messaging for this campaign. So it was an example, but I want you to repeat a different phrase for me. It's an easier one. Okay, I'll keep it simple for you guys. I know you're driving to work now, probably. So here it goes. Repeat the following phrase after me. Let's have a quick meeting to make sure we are all on the same page before the client presentation. I'll uh, break it down a bit. Let's have a quick meeting to make sure 
we are all on the same page before the client presentation. Easy peasy Japanesey. <laughs> All right, uh, again, you can find these phrases on YouTube as well. So the last phrase I wanted to share with you today is phrase number three. Could you give me a hand? Or can you give me a hand? Or if you want to be super polite, you can say, could you please give me a hand? Can you please give me a hand? Just add the magic word please in there. So when someone asks you this question, can you give me a hand? They don't mean to physically give them a hand, okay? It's, uh, in this case, it's metaphorically speaking. When someone asks, can you give me a hand? They mean to say, can you help me? There are some cases where people will say, hey, can you give me a hand? If they're moving stuff and they need some help physically moving things, yes, okay, that makes sense. But we can also use this phrase with colleagues in workplaces. If you wanted to ask for help, you can also say, can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? This phrase is a polite way to ask for assistance or help from a colleague. Okay, so it's something new that you can practice instead of saying, can you help me? Can you give me a hand? Okay. Alrighty, so... Let's see how we can uh, put this into a context. Imagine you're working on a project and need some input from a co-worker, from your colleague. You could say, hey, could you give me a hand with these data calculations? I'm a bit stuck. So I need help calculating things. Okay, it's a math problem or whatever it is. <laughs> Hey, could you give me a hand with these data calculations? I'm a bit stuck. So we're going to repeat this same phrase. I'll say it now again, and then you try to repeat it after me. I'll see if I can uh, say it slowly. Hey, could you give me a hand with these data calculations? I'm a bit stuck. Hey, could you give me a hand with these data calculations, I'm a bit stuck. Cool bananas. That's it, amigos y amigas. Thanks for joining me today and thank you for listening to the EMS show. If you'd like to support the show, go to englishmadesimple.net slash transcripts, download the transcripts to this uh, podcast and this episode and support the show. I'd like to thank Munzol from Mongolia who had recently purchased uh, transcripts and is enjoying the podcast. His favorite episodes are the short and sweet episodes. So awesome. Thanks so much for your support, Munzol. Hope you're enjoying all those episodes. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to also visit englishmadesimple.net slash podcast anytime to continue listening to the rest of the episodes. And for more short and sweet phrases, please visit my YouTube channel. Just search for English Made Simple Podcast and then you, you will find it somewhere on YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a pleasure and I hope you've learned something new today. If something isn't clear, be sure to send me an email and let me know so I can help. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Mm-hmm.